All right, my name is Christopher Smith. I'm a personal injury attorney in Nashville, Tennessee with DRS Law Firm. Today we're talking about the Paragard litigation. And for those of you who don't know, Paragard is an intrauterine device, an IUD, uh, that is placed in the uterus to prevent conception. Now, the device is composed of a polyethylene uh, T that is wrapped in copper wire. And so what can happen with this device is that the, the T will break upon removal. And that fundamentally is the criteria for these lawsuits, which is uh, implantation of the Paragard IUD and then breakage upon removal. And if, you've got, if you meet that criteria, then you might have a lawsuit. Sort of the, the damages stemming from that are obviously whatever surgical uh, complications you may have had from that breakage. In some cases, it can be quite extreme, including you know loss of reproductive ability entirely. Uh, sometimes it gets so embedded in the uterus that the only surgical corrective option is uh, hysterectomy. So you know damages can be quite severe. Again, though, it's breakage at the arms and, and uh, of that T and removal are the criteria. The status of the litigation, there was an MDL, a multi-district litigation um, panel certified. That's in the Northern District of Georgia, and that's where all of these cases are going to be litigated. So if you've got, uh, if you meet that criteria, if you had the Paragard installed, you had it removed and it broke upon removal, give us a call. We can investigate your case. Uh, one other thing, the defendant is Teva Pharmaceuticals. Uh, and the theories basically are strict liability, failure to warn, design defect, manufacturing defect, general negligence. You know, basically that this device was dangerous and possibly that Teva Pharmaceuticals knew about that and, uh, you know, did not adequately warn people of the risk. So that's basically a quick breakdown of the Paragard litigation. Uh, give us a call or let us know if we can help.